Hello, everyone. My name is Dr. Hope. As, uh, as our uh, model, and she's going to help us uh, demonstrate this whole thing. So, okay, uh, let's have you start out face up on your back. Now, I typically will start out face up on the back because I, I need to address the, the cervical region or the neck. So as we check through the neck, the main thing I'm looking for, as we've talked about in my other visits, is both misalignment but also the ability of the spine to move freely the free motion of the spine, every bone of the spine that's essential for health and nerves and nerve health in the area. So as we check, we see that there's some slight uh, fixations and bones out of place in our lower neck, so we're going to go ahead and correct those. We wouldn't necessarily use this, on, this manipulation on kids or elderly people, uh, but for someone like Kate, it's perfect because we're able to restore that little bit of motion in there. And we do the same thing, that lower neck here. Good. Excellent. And we'll come back to that in a little while with the instrument to just fully restore it. But I found that using the manual adjustment first really gets the big problems out of the way, and then we're, we're able to fine-tune it with the instrument later. So we found the misalignment in her middle back here. And we're just going to free up the motion in that area. Now we're going to check her lower back. Turn towards me on your side, Kate. So as, as we go through systematically this, this spine, there may be other problems that need that take precedent, but on, on average I'm going to check things in this order. You can see with my hands I'm motioning the spine, I'm using her hips to motion the spine to feel what's moving and what's not moving and what's jammed. Kate has a bone that's jammed in the upper lumbar area, so I'm going to contact this, do a, just a little correction there. Okay, Kate, let's go on your stomach, face down. Now, typically after the, we, we check the main areas, there's some fine-tuning that needs to happen. And for that, I use the Arthur stem. You may have seen the Arthur stem on my other videos. It's just a tapping instrument that introduces motion into the spine. So we're going to just work the spine. Kate has, a, has an older injury down here in the lumbosacral region, so we're going to just free this up. And I free it up until I start to feel that nice springy function. That tells me that. We've introduced all the new motion that we can, and the body has to go, you know, the body has to do it, the healing process after that. Ultimately, what we're doing is we're freeing up what motion we can for the day, and then the body, the, the, the patient has to go home, and the body will start to reconstruct the area and, and do the healing. The healing takes place at home in between visits. Almost like when you're working out at the gym. You don't get bigger and stronger while you're working out. You get bigger and stronger after your body heals from the workout. Okay. There's an area in Kate's mid-back that we're going to touch up. Right here. This is a, an adjustment that actually does help restore the cervical curve. Many of you that have seen chiropractors before maybe have x-rays where you're the normal healthy curve of the neck has been lost. This helps restore that, or at least the function of that area, so that you then don't go on to develop the arthritis that comes from having bones that are being stuck in the same place and not moving. So, again, our whole goal is restore the function and motion of the spine. A healthy, movable spine does not develop arthritis. A healthy, movable body does not get sick. So. This is a very gentle rib adjustment that I've been working with and 
developed to kind of allow the rib cage to move so that full breathing can occur. Energy levels improve when the when the breathing occurs normally. Lots a lot happening during a real typical office visit. And a lot that we decided to include in our just routine protocol, mainly because it, these are the things that, due to the stresses that we're experiencing in life, the body needs. So we just continue to work that out until we feel that nice springy motion where it was really tight before. touch up there. Now, at that point, Kate normally does this. We've restored all the motion and function into the spine that we can for that day. Now, I like to just do use a device called the Genie Rub or the Master Massager. And what we're doing at this point is putting vibration into the spine. It's taking the areas of correction that we've done and we're like enforcing it. We're putting the shellac on it, so to speak. So we're waking, wakening up the whole body, enhancing all those nerve impulses so that healing occurs that much faster. It also can remove any residual soreness that may exist. So this is normally the part that my assistant Kate, who I'm working on, she'll normally be doing this part of the uh, of the treatment with you and uh, quite frankly it tends to be the, the part of the treatment that people like the most so don't worry we won't uh, we won't skip you on this process if you're, if you're in here for the treatment this is included every single time so quick exercise today to do at your desk to help neck pain and uh, before we show you the exercise, I want to make sure that you understand, don't push into pain on this, just move to the normal range of motion. Don't, uh, don't force anything. The, the motion is meant to be a nice, easy exercise. Uh, the exercise is called Yes, No, Maybe, and it's the, the motions that the neck is, are designed to do with the way the bones are shaped. The neck is designed to move back and fro forward, left and right, and side to side. Those are, the, those are the three motions the neck is, is built for. And so what we want to do, we want to reinforce those motions so that they happen easier. As the joints move easier, it blink, brings fluid and nutrition into the joints, helping it to be healthy. Movement causes that to happen. Here's the yes, and we just want to do it 10 to 15 times. Nothing really complex about this motion. Here's the no. Right and left, 15 times. As you do it, you'll notice that your neck gets looser. If you can only go to here before it starts to hurt, only go to there. That may be, that may be your motion. That's okay. And then maybe side to side 15 times. As you work these, work them one to two times a day, or if your neck feels uncomfortable, it'll help you feel a lot better. Uh, a couple of things that I want to caution you to avoid doing, and that is the rolling of the neck that is uh, commonly taught in martial arts classes and things like this. Very bad for the neck, especially in this back quadrant here where you're going back. Don't be doing that. It compresses the bones and the nerves and uh, it, it'll actually cause things to get worse. The second thing I want to caution you against when you go to the side, don't arch away. The tendency is to try and get that, you want to try and get the elbow to the shoulder. Well, that's not the goal. The goal is not to get the elbow to the shoulder. It's just to maximize your motion. So keep the head nice. And uh, we have three because sometimes people come as, as families or they're, they're, they need special attention. And so when there's a little bit of an overflow, uh, we can handle the volume. So come on in here. I'll show you. This is my main treatment room. Uh, we have... So we have many different uh, means of helping patients here at the clinic. We have, uh, of course, we offer ma I, I offer manual adjusting uh, where we adjust you physically. We're actually moving the bones and getting them moving in the right place. That's not for everybody. If it's someone who's, who's uh, getting on in, in years or perhaps maybe a baby, we use a little... Um, a little tool called the arthro stem. It's an adjusting tool and it just does very light gentle tapping and we're able to take those 
we're able to take those bones and get them moving, get them functional again without the use of any kind of uh, extra force. So it's a nice tool uh, for people that do not want to be manually adjusted. Uh, and then we also, of course, have the the ever popular master massager that uh, it would be done at the end of, of each visit uh, for a little bit just to, uh, to help the blood flow and circulation and it also feels great. One other thing that we also started offering about a year ago was uh, kinesio tape. Kinesio tape was made popular in the Olympics this year, uh, the Summer Olympics, and you may have seen some of the volleyball players wearing it on their shoulders. Well, I found it is a great great way to stabilize brand new injuries. It's almost like my way of sending an adjustment home with you. If we need to do this, we can. Uh, and uh, insurance covers it, of course. So come on back with me, and I'll show you the rest of the clinic. Now we're heading to the, to the back part of the clinic where Jason uh, is, and he's our massage therapist, and he's also our personal trainer. So I'll show you the gym, and uh, it's where we can also actually have you doing some supervised exercise if you need it. So come on with me. We'll head on back. Well, this is our gym right here. And we've got it uh, pointed with uh, the, the things that Jason and I felt, uh, both of us exercise and have been in gyms and been around weight training equipment and we know what's really the best and we know what's kind of a fluff and what really doesn't give you much results. We wanted to put the stuff that will give you the best results. What we have um, you know, what Jason uses, a lot of these, these are what we just call them stretchy bands. They provide a phenomenal amount of resistance. The further you go back, of course, there's more resistance. And man, they may look easy, but believe me, they will get you get you going. Over here we have uh, our, our body craft station which we can do all of the major exercises that you would need. Pull downs, the uh, chest presses, leg extension, leg press here, also some of the cable work as well. It's a fantastic machine. It's been a real workhorse in here and Jason's, Jason loves it. The, the uh, patients love it as well. Of course here we have our basic weight setup. For those people who are going for a little more bulk or want to get more strength, we have the, uh, the, the power rack here with the Olympic weights, some more bands here, and then the elliptical machine. So we're, we, we are a chiropractic clinic, but we have a focus on function here, and uh, our, our, our goal is to get you back into life doing the things you want to do with chiropractic and with strength training, with flexibility, with yoga, whatever it takes to get things, uh, get, get your health problem handled and get you back into action. I'm Dr. Owens. Have a great day.